are off as Raekwon Gray wins the tip. The 6'11 center out of Iowa State. But it's Raekwon Gray on the other end, and his bucket is good. And Raekwon Gray is heating up here early in the fourth, in the first. Seven points now. Big fella already knocked down two threes. And it's Bouye. And he's going to get the and one. Ranking fifth in the league off of points, off of turnovers, and those are the first two tonight. But good transition defense, but it's Watson going to take it to the rack anyway. A soft touch off the glass. He wanted the foul, not going to get it, but still gets the two points. And again, Bouye looking up floor, finds Raekwon. And Gray, soft touch off the glass, Raekwon Gray. Watson for three. Paul Watson from downtown. And Rift City with the transition offense. Ooh, a soft move off the glass. Just the double clutch. It's the screen from Reese. Gortman from deep. Short off the front rim. Bouye to CD. CD. And Taze Moore, a guard, but they'll light up the stat sheet on, on the rebounding end. Saw it there as an and one. Finished by Gortman. And Moore has been lighting up the stat sheet on both ends. Points and rebounds. Another bucket there, this time by Kevin Knox. As it's now a three-point game. Austin not helping their own matters here as they're very uh, in big danger of going on a 9-0 run. Not the way that you want to be. Unless Reese hits the three here and does make it a 10-0 run. Down low to Sissoko. Gets him on the pump bag and one as he caught Alex Reese in the air. And CD Sissoko not going to shy away from contact anytime soon. Now Duke Jr. trying to dribble past the double team, splitting the defenders. Gets his own rebound, can't get the second shot to fall. His third attempt is good. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And the fast tempoed offense by Rip City and an and one from Kevin Knox. Just three seconds gone by off the shot clock. Austin weren't ready. Bouye has it knocked away, able to maintain. Now looking for an outlet. Kicks it away, but it's tipped in the hands of Hodge. It's a three on one break. Bounce pass, right handed finish. And that's Bortman who's going to get credit with the bucket. And a fresh 14. Bouye splits the defender, and Bouye with the two handed dunk. And that gets this crowd excited. And now again, the remix pushing the tempo, finds Minaya and one with the finish. And I believe this is going to go against Sissoko. And this has been a weird game for some of those goals. As that pass picked off, and Gray behind the back to Javante McCoy. Can he get the end one finish? He does. I mean, I understand we're all human, you know. You can't get them all right, but that's a tough call to go against Austin. Still had an opportunity to use a challenge, decided not to. And Los Lados down 10, and Kevin Knox gets blocked by Sissoko. Nobody steps up to Raekwon Gray, and he's going to take it all the way to the bucket, going from left to right, and the smooth finish from Gray. In the commentating booth. Yeah, primarily the reason why I love Austin so much. And Gray to Bouye with a two-handed flush. Back to a one-possession game. Gortman with a nice bounce pass, and Condon for the dunk. Passing around the perimeter, looking down low to Sissoko. He's guarded by Condon, the bigger defender, and can't get it to fall, but Julian Washburn playing cleanup. Out here's Boye, 32 seconds. Serge Abari has it blocked. Into the hands of Moore. Well, any bucket can give them the lead, but they have to make it. Four seconds on the shot clock. Kicks it out. Long three-pointer, and it's good. 1.6 seconds in the third. Well, here we go, final quarter of play. Sissoko kicks it out. Bouye, his three-pointer. Bouye! <laughs> and Sissoko finds David Duke Jr., and he hurts you as he'll go with the two-handed flush. And speaking of Sissoko, tried to drive and has it knocked away. It's Gortman using his speed going all the way. Bouye with the block on the other end. Tipped out to Washburn, and here come the Spurs with numbers. Sissoko. Against the taller defender, and it doesn't matter where your hand's going to be. Junior.
Jr. tried to steal, but instead it's going to be Sissoko. Two-handed block steal, whatever you want to call it. He's going coast to coast, and he'll get the in one. Bouye keeping the defender on his back. Gray with two seconds, lets it fly, hits it. 25 points for Raekwon Gray. It's McCoy, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Now Gray, back to McCoy. He'll take the space, he'll take the three, and that's why he wears the number on his chest. Javante McCoy from me. And McCoy with the active hands nearly coming up with the steal. Here's Gortman going all the way to the rack, and somehow he fights through the defense and gets the bucket to fall. It's Watson. Gray, Duke Jr., McCoy, and Sissoko. And Duke Jr. gets the bucket and one. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Duke Jr. all the way to the bucket, the one-handed slam over Condit. Duke Jr., this is your quarter. It's a nine-point lead for Austin. Kevin Knox guarded by Raekwon Gray. Kevin Knox can't get the layup to fall. Not one person left early, and they look like they're going to be rewarded, maybe. The coaches will be at half court for a gentlemanly handshake, but it is a win for Los Rados de Austin, your final here from the HEB Center.